Hey guys, what's going on? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces, and in this video, we're going to be talking about Awesome Miner. Awesome Miner is an alternative miner to other miners out there like Nice Hash that users, whether they're beginners or advanced users, can utilize to manage their mining rigs or setups. Now, it does come free with two miners or manage miners set up. There is a subscription if you want to add additional, and there's even cloud services to where you can set up multiple miners managing your GPU or GPU miners and ASIC miners. Now, we're just going to be going through the basics here today, um, but there's a lot of good features that Awesome Miner does, and every time that they come out, uh, the, the mining developers, LOL Miner, Phoenix Miner, T-Rex Miner, and some of these names may not make sense just yet, but all of these miners that are developed um, constant release updates, Awesome Miner keeps up to date and will actually let you know if there was an updated release. To download Awesome Miner, just go to the downloads page, awesomeminer.com forward slash download, or you just go to awesomeminer.com and click the download link right here. We're going to click on Awesome Miner installer. Now, typically Windows 10, you're going to need .NET Framework. It already comes pre-installed with 4.8 or probably even higher by now, I'm not sure. Um, but if you're unsure whether or not you have all of these, which you're going to need all three right here. So .NET Framework 4.8, Visual Studio 2013, and Visual Studio 2015 to 2019. When you go to install these, uh, the computer will actually let you know whether or not it's been installed already. But we just want to install the program just like we would any other program on a Windows system. Go through, accept the license and agreement, hit install, and at the end here we're going to launch Awesome Miner, make sure that's checked, and hit finish. Now, compared to Nice Hash, which has a very clean GUI, Awesome Miner, uh, as I mentioned, is a little bit more advanced, but it gives you a little bit more control, and you don't have to just mine, uh, you know, altcoins to earn Bitcoin. You can still do that, but there's other options available. So here we are. We have Awesome Miner letting us choose our language. I'm going to hit OK. And it looks like the only two languages were English and Russia. And then here we're going to have a blank sheet. So it's coming up on my right screen here, but this is what this is going to be the only window that you'll be able to touch. The main window that we that shows the nice uh, the awesome miner GUI is is not showing right now. So we're going to hit next. And there's actually two guides here: getting started with ASIC mining, getting started with GPU mining. I would highly recommend checking that out if you want. And on this page, this is the most important part. What I like to choose is Manage Profit Miner. And uh, you can actually choose Manage Miner or Manage Profit Miner. I like the one that's profit switching. So that's similar to NiceHash where it automatically switches to whatever the most profitable cryptocurrency is. It keeps track of everything, coins, stuff like that. But it's very important that we have all the data. And I'll get into that in just a second. Now, here's the next thing. We want to choose our GPU profile. You can set up one later if you want. Uh, in this case, we have an NVIDIA GPU in this system. Um, if you had AMD, choose AMD. If you have an Intel CPU, you want to do CPU mining, you could also add that. They don't have AMD CPU just yet, um, but you can create a profile afterwards. On this next page, we have to set up our addresses. And so we're going to have to you know, put in some information. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and throw something random in there right now. Um, that would be a Bitcoin address. Uh, and you can see the symbols here of what is what. But some of these pool will pay out in alternative currencies. For example, I can get paid out in Litecoin with Zerg pool. I could get paid out in Litecoin with Blockmasters. Or I could choose Bitcoin. Mining pool hub requires uh, a little bit more advanced but let's start off with nice hash if you're just going to focus on nice hash great all these other pools we'll have to get into maybe in a different video but now we got our nice hash ad address in there and we have nice hash checked we also want to make sure we select the appropriate region hit next and then finish and now here's the main GUI that we're going to see and before we can do anything we got to make sure that our profile is accurately uh, registered, I would call it. Uh, it may not be the right term. But right now, there is this computer or awesome miner does not understand what the hash rates are for these GPUs. It's not going to automatically plug it in. So what I like to do is the first thing is select my miner, go to tools, click benchmark, 
and then here's all the various algorithms supported by NiceHash. Because I have NiceHash turned on, here's all the algorithms supported. Now, if I hit select all, that's gonna benchmark all of these various algorithms. And then it's gonna install it on the profi profit profile NVIDIA GPU. Again, you can create a new one if you wanted to. You can actually turn on miners, turn off miners. Here's what I would recommend, because I don't want to overload you too much. We want to get make sure Phoenix Miner is on there, MB, G Miner, but I also like to make sure that T-Rex Miner is on there as well. T-Rex is doing really good as far as mining Ethereum with 3000 series GPUs, at least at time of filming. So I clicked it, I added it, and then I'm using the arrows to move it up or down. Now there's another miner that you particularly like, Z Enemy Miner, Crypto Dredge, so on and so forth you're more than welcome to add those miners. But what this list is right here is uh, because it's a profit switching miner, it's automatically going to choose X over, you know, Y or Z. So I want T-Rex to be in front of Phoenix miner, but when it comes to an algorithm that T-Rex, Phoenix, or NB can't mine, G, it would use G miner. It, it's, it's best in this particular setup right here. Like I said, T-Rex miner is better at mining Ethereum right now. So not to overload you, I have my miners selected. I'm going to hit OK. Now, if we have multiple GPUs, we could select single, multiple combined, or all combined. If I have multiple GPUs on like all the same card or all even a mixed rig, I like to do all combined. But this is a single GPU. It's the 3080. We're going to leave that selected. We're going to leave it on fast. If you want to do a more detailed, you know, get every single hash rate correct, 3 to 5 is fine. Uh, I wouldn't go, you know, 20 minutes an hour. Maybe just do three to five or one to three, just to get the general hash rate. We can fine tune later on down the road. Um, if, if you know the 3080 can get 100 mega hash at X, Y, and Z clocks, then we can actually input that into these profiles. So, say for example, I go back to my GPU profile, which is NVIDIA GPU. I go down to Ethereum. I could technically change this 27 to 100 but I want the, the, the system awesome Meyer, to actually benchmark and get those numbers first so I'm gonna hit select all and then I'm gonna hit start now I'm gonna let this run and then I'll come back to you guys now as you can see we have a bunch of hash rates on the right hand side here under benchmark results we have a bunch of hash rates um, and power draw we can actually it can the system can actually see power draw on us software power draw but at least it's good information. We want to save this to our profile. So down here where it says save to profile, we want to select that. You just want to make sure that you always got the right profile selected under profit profile up here. And we can save all of these hash rates. Now what I like to do sometimes is compare it. You can see with um, T-Rex Miner, we got 96.6 .6 mega hash. We could probably get a little bit more, get up to 100. So this is about accurate for what this GPU can do on the various algorithms supported by NiceHash. Now I say supported by NiceHash because if we were to select other pools like Zerg Pool, Blockmasters, uh, Mining Pool Hub, it will open up the door for other algorithms like uh, Kryptonite and so on and so forth. But this is just the, the, the opening video. I'm, I'm going to come up with more videos and go into maybe a little bit more of a deep dive into awesome miner because there's just so many features that you can do you can see here on the tools you know we got ASIC tools GPU clocking some of it is not going to come with the free version as you can see when I hit GPU clocking your addition of awesome miner doesn't include this feature but if you want to use awesome miner um, you can just combine it with your overclocking utility a program like hardware info which allows you if I get out of your way here or bring it down I can monitor my GPU temperatures, my clocks, my fan speeds, all that, as well as control it with MSI afterburner overclocking utility and so on and so forth. Um, so some of the features won't all be available in the Awesome Miner Free Edition, but this will at least get you started. So just to recap to where we are now, we installed Awesome Miner, you know, awesomeminer.com, click download, make sure we got the Awesome Miner installer. Awesome Miner Remote Agent is if you want to install that on a system, but manage it. Say, for example, I install it on a system out in my living room, but want to manage it here um, in, at my computer. I can install the Remote Agent uh, program and then actually add it here into, so New Miner. I can actually add it into this system 
uh, by network scan or um, a number of different ways. We might get into that in a different video. But I think that's the awesome miner allows us a capability of scaling with our growth. If we want to build uh, two GPUs in one system and then we start to grow into a mining frame with six GPUs and an eight and then we start getting ASICs, this program will allow us to do that. And as we grow, um, obviously there's going to be, you know, we're going to have to pay a subscription, um, which, you know, pricing varies, uh, but I will have it linked in the description below if you want to check that out for what Awesome Miner offers and the pricing and everything. Uh, but it's a very good tool that every everybody from a beginner to an advanced user can utilize. So now that we got the program installed, we set up or added our Bitcoin address following because that main window allowed us to add Bitcoin address for NiceHash, Zerg Pool, uh, Mining Pool, Hub, Blockmaster, so on and so forth. You can just start off with NiceHash if you're not sure about those other pools. They did have links to them if you want to check it out. Once we got past that and we added our manage profit miner, we got to this main page, we went to tools, then we clicked benchmark, and that allowed us to benchmark all the algorithms on NiceHash. Once we save that profile, okay, once we save all of these hash rates per algorithm plus the, the power draw to this profile, we are now ready to begin mining. So if I come here to main, because there's different tabs in each section, I know this can be daunting. If you want, play around with it. Go through each tab, see what it does, see what the features. It's okay. Like, for example, you can play around with appearances and see which color you like and so on and so forth. Not all features would be available, but play around with it. Explore. But we're set up right now for mining. If I select this and hit start, I'm going to start mining right now. And it's going to go to whichever... Um, whichever algo or whichever cryptocurrency is is more profitable right now if I click on the tab coins or online services SHA-256 is at the top the reason that is is because I do not have my profile selected so if I go to NVIDIA GPU boom there we go I could be earning seven dollars and eighteen cents with nice hash on this 3080 the next one up is mining pool hub and you can see all the various pools here and the algorithm now we don't have SHA-256 uh, or we can't mine it with this GPU if I wanted to turn that off I'll show you a way to do that but this is getting more into the weeds and I don't want to overload you so come back and check subscribe to the channel for more videos in the future but if I go to options and I want to turn off SHA-256 because I cannot mine that algorithm with this GPU I could just go to algorithms so let's do that do it again options algorithms scroll down to SHA-256 and my phone's about to go off here my apologies and we want to turn off SHA-256, SHA-256 ASIC boost, uh, T uh, I like to turn off script, uh, Jane, adaptive, regular script, script N2 I like to turn those, these uh, few off and then and when I hit OK that's going to be removed so right now with my with the algos that we tested, because we haven't tested every single algo algorithm, because only NiceHash supports certain ones, um, which is fine, right? Because NiceHash is, is focusing on the more profitable algorithms, but there's other opportunities out there or other coins that you can mine that may not be as profitable as Ethereum, but one day will be. So you can mine and accumulate a coin that, uh, because it's a project you believe in or a cryptocurrency you believe in. Uh, that one day may uh, rise and, and bring you uh, decent profits. But now that that's all set up, as soon as I go to uh, miners, select my miner, hit start, it's going to start mining. It's going to go straight, it's going to use my T Rex miner that I selected under um, profit profiles. If I go to my NVIDIA GPU, there's all my miners. And then it's going to choose the most, uh, the best algorithm. So it's going to choose T-Rex Miner because it's at the top of my list, priority over Phoenix Miner, which is the best right now for the 30, uh, 3000 series GPU. And it's going to choose Ethereum because that's the best hash rate um, or the most profitable algo to mine. And then it will auto switch if for whatever reason Octopus, which is Conflux, becomes more profitable than, than Ethereum. That's the thing I like about Awesome Miner. It's a profit switching miner and will automatically switch to whatever the profits are. We just have to benchmark and make sure that we select all, when we first set this up, just make sure you put in 
all the various addresses um, that you want for like if, if you do have a nice hash account put that in with your address if you do have a Z pool and you want to mine and earn uh, get paid out in Bitcoin you can mine all of these altcoins and get paid out in Bitcoin Litecoin so on and so forth but check back in another video for when I go through how to select uh, a pool or how to get set up on a pool and determine uh, you know what do you want to get paid out as and stuff like that so that's gonna be a completely separate video I thank you so much for sticking with me I know it's got a little bit long-winded uh, I hope that this beginner guide helps you out if you have any questions hit me up in the comments below any of my OG miners out there feel free to chime in and help out the uh, any newcomers to the crypto mining scene and I appreciate it do me a favor hit the like button on the way out subscribe for more content like this and I'll try to get uh, an additional video to uh, you know help you explore awesome miner just a little bit more ask me questions and that will help me determine what my next video is gonna be so I'll catch you guys in the next one you have a wonderful day